Now, we haven't heard Megan Huntsman give her side of the story. She's due to appear in court today or tomorrow. But, of course, this case has left a lot of people asking, what would drive someone to kill seven babies? Joining me now is psychologist Eric Fisher. Uh, thanks for being here, first of all. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it's astounding to hear such a story. And, of course, the first question everyone wants to know is, is, is why? Why would anyone do such a thing? Well, I think we do have to ask a lot of questions. Things I would want to look at is, what is her history of mental illness? What is her history of child abuse as in sexual or physical abuse growing up that may have predisposed her to this type of behavior? And is there a coordination between having been using drugs or seemed to be a long-term history of drug abuse that could have led to some of these behaviors? The curious question I have is, she has three daughters. One of the daughters is older than the first child who was killed. So there was a daughter who's 20. This started happening when about 18 years ago. So my question would be, were, were these children that were killed, were they all male potentially? Because mm. what we're going to be doing is asking questions of why would this serial type of behavior happen over this period and what would drive this type of behavior in terms of her belief systems, her judgment, her history. You, ha you mentioned she has other children. There are other family members uh, that were in that home. Right. Why didn't any anybody notice, you would imagine someone would have alarmed uh, or let police or someone know that she's been acting or behaving in a very strange or scary way. Well, there's a few things. One, you have the physical showing appearance of somebody who is pregnant. You know, what does that look like? And it's mostly noticeable to a lot of people, but does she have smaller children? The other issue is, is there a pattern of denial that we see in this family? And how well was her pattern of denial and or behavior to cover up these these pregnancies over time uh, you said uh, that you want them to look into or you, you're curious to know if these babies were male now let's say they were would that uh, suggest that she was sexually abused at some point in her life and this was a way to express her anger possibly it could have even been about physical abuse it could have there could be some issue of was this person the father there is there is a report that one of the children was stillborn and if that child was stillborn, that's why there were only six murder charges. And did that behavior potentially, or that action potentially start some of her belief systems that ultimately fed her behaviors that are so tragic? But as a psychologist, are you shocked to hear about something like this, especially now that there are seven babies who were, that were killed? It's always shocking to hear stories like these. It's very difficult to hear stories like these. That's why we definitely want to encourage people to have the courage to ask for help when they need it, to make sure that we don't have a stigma against mental illness or even is this a pattern of psychoticism that happens? Could she have a compounded post-traumatic stress or um, uh, postpartum depression issue that may lead to postpartum psychoticism. However, you would expect to see that in some of her behaviors unless she was very good at covering it up. So are there any signs that uh, we should be looking out for for our family members? Sometimes you want to look at behaviors of hiding behaviors. Are they changing the clothes they're wearing in terms of if we're looking for somebody who may be pregnant and covering it up? But that's something we don't want to think about either. Having a child is one of the most happiest times of our lives, which is why this is such a disturbing issue for so many people because these children are supposed to be brought in this world with such joy. We can't imagine them ending this world in such tragedy and, and terror. But, but this has to stem from some kind of psychological issue? Most likely, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, and lastly, I mean, I guess the question is why we are so captivated by a story like this. I mean, do you think that there is, if it were a father or a male doing something like this, there wouldn't be as much attention as opposed to a female? I think in both situations, we'd, we'd be looking at these, whether it was the father or the mother, because it's just so tragic and so out of the norm. You know, people just can't fathom how somebody could do something like this, especially six times. Exactly. Well, uh, as we said, we haven't heard from Megan Huntsman give her side of the story, and she is due in court uh, today or tomorrow. Eric Fisher, psychologist, thank you so much for your perspective. You. Appreciate it.